Hi there folks, um, I just thought I'd take this time to um, show some some of the little tools you might need to start collecting and hunting hunting and collecting mud fossils. It's just going to be a quick video. Um, I find one of the best times to go is at night and um, with a head flashlight put that on your head and um, this is great at night particularly because it will shine on parts of the stones that accentuate out shapes and everything like that you know so and along with that a nice little small pick because some of the stones are embedded and quite heavy so you've got that you can pry them up yeah so basically that's all you need really you have a rucksack um a bit of energy sometimes you've got to go right out of the way sometimes i have to walk you know five or six miles out into the wilderness where i look for them and then fill a rucksack up with heavy rocks and then walk back um, so it demands a certain level of fitness, uh, but I, I actually quite enjoy that. Maybe um, take a screwdriver with you or a small pen knife or something to lever out small stones while you're at it. So, and then we take uh, just a little pen knife like this with me. This is one I made myself. Uh, used to quite like experimenting making things so that one there's a uh, another one i made kind of an art knife this, um, and another one here i made quite a lot more but i've given them away over time to people but my favourite one, the most, probably the most sturdy one, is this that I use. It's only a little knife. But it's great, it's got some little sort of tools in it for getting small stones out and things like that. And um, so it's quite useful, so that's really all you need. A pickaxe, a screwdriver or a small knife or something. And a headlamp that you can put on your head. That way you can free your hands up and wherever your eyes look, the lamp will spot out the correct stones to, to, to find. And also at night, you're not really drawing attention to yourself, you know, although you just help people you're a fossil hunter or whatever. Um, um, well, I'm here, I was showing some orgone, orgone plates that I've made. And I forgot I made this as well. It's quite a nice little thing. It's to put by your computer. It's all full of organite. I spent quite a lot of money buying gems and things to put in this. And um, I didn't get the colouring quite right because I wanted it clearer, really. But it's absolutely full of gemstones and oh, real, real good quality iron filings like brass and tungsten stuff like that anything i could get and save up for and the skull has an indentation on it so you can put your hand on it like like so when you're at the computer or something like that and you can pull all that orgone energy up into your body with it so that's quite useful i'm thinking of um when spring comes because it's but cold to make them at the moment so i'm gonna make them in a garage um might start making some more i'll make some thinking of uh making some wands and things like that all going wands i've got one here that i made but it's just a piece of it needs to be cleaned up it's just a piece of copper pipe with a crystal running through it and a stopper on the bottom which then you fill it with the resin and the organite so it's full of like layered Precious gemstones, iron filings, and um, and resin. 
Um, I also made these. These are full of Orgonite, full of um, crystals and semi precious gems and iron filings, brass filings, all that kind of stuff. And this one's a female one, it's magnetic. So inside there, it's all to do with pulling energy, the pulling force of magnetism. As you can see, that just, I'll just put a stone magnet there. And it, it's a pulling one. Whereas this one's an electric one, so everything I've used inside here is to do with the electrical forces in the universe. So you can you can rebalance the body like if you hold the magnetic in the left hand and the electric one in the right hand and ground your hands so on the wooden desk or something like that. And you can use them for meditation to balance out the aura of the body. And if you feel like you've got too much electrical power in your body, you can put the magnetic one in the right hand and rebalance the polarities. So I'm just experimenting with all this stuff at the moment, so I'm really new to it. But I'm going to try some different kind of creations to do. You could probably do some flat earth organites. That'd be quite interesting. Thought about that. Get a... I don't know, everyone's arguing about the map, but just get a any kind of flat earth map and then make a clear organite around it and use it as a charging plate or something like that. So I'm going to be making some more of these organ creations at some point and um, show you them as I go. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this quick video and I'll see you next time. Cheers.